Hello everyone and welcome back to Chronos Plays Final Fantasy X HD Remastered. Today we're in the water and we're getting pruny. Uh, now before we actually start the episode, I did want to bring up the PC special features. So if we press escape on the keyboard. Apparently I'm not selected in the window. Press escape on the keyboard now. There we go. We bring up this menu. Here you can get the system settings, you get the sound, you get the video. I could probably actually adjust some of this stuff to maybe uh, help with some of the stuttering. It's not that bad, at least from what I can see, but uh, my eyesight's kind of like crap. Um, I don't even know what this does. I don't know what any of this stuff does. Maybe we'll just bring that down to high. See if that does anything. Sure. Uh, key bindings. This. I, actually, go back there. I don't actually think I've ever looked at key bindings. Uh, keyboard. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, this is where you just can bind your keys. I'm using an Xbox One controller. Um, we also come with. We get special features, which is turbo mode, which is fantastic. Supercharge, which I don't know what that is. Uh, the character will be supercharged in certain battles if this is set to okay, sure. Uh, there's enemy encounters, set enemy encounter frequency. It is not affected by character equipment. Interesting, there is something we can get later on, part of equipment that deact like that turns off encounters. We get auto battle, lets character fight automatically, which is kind of interesting, and hide HUD. And we got change parameters. Now, this is the cheat menu. <laughs> so we get all items that are just common items, unlock all skills, or get max gil. Tempting, but probably not useful in a walkthrough let's play. Uh, <laughs> if I was playing this casually, I'd probably go with max gil to be quite honest. I'd love giving myself max money in games, especially JRPG. Like, yo, if you've never played like a Dragon Quest game with a uh, cheating for max money, it cuts the grinding down to an absurd amount of like, it's just kind of like a normal art, like a JRPG without any grinding. Cause you don't really have to worry about it anymore. It's, I love it. Uh, don't do it that much these days though. Anyways, we get this here. Something's written here. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce any of that stuff. Maybe look Makalania. What do we have here? Nope. Can't read it. No. I'm glad you voiced that. Anyways, behind here we got a chest. Our first chest. Get 200 gil. Which, at this point, if you don't know what, a, what gil is, that's kind of shocking. Uh, don't go up there just yet. Yeah, gil's the currency of Final Fantasy. Maybe this is your first Final Fantasy, or you've never played a Final Fantasy before. This is the second... I believe this is the second best-selling Final Fantasy game next to Final Fantasy VII. I was looking at the VG charts the other day. It's uh, Final Fantasy VII, X, and then VIII, which actually I was surprised by, given how, well, a lot of people seem not to like VIII. Uh, this thing here is a introduction to Elbed. It's also a sphere. Find Elbed primers to help you decipher the strange Elbed language. That's the language from the underneath. Uh, use previously saved Albed primer data to synthesize a new Albed primer. Select save data to synthesize the Albed primer from. And this is just some test saves that I did, or test runs that I did. And apparently, I didn't know this, but I had never played this game on um, my Let's Play account for Steam. So I got an achievement like off screen. I was kind of mad about that. I was like, oh, damn it. I only got one though. Kind of annoying though. Yeah, I was actually debated on, uh, like uh, unlocking all the Elbed primers, though I think that takes all the Elbed primers away from um, the playthrough. So I didn't want to do that, seeing how this is kind of, I, I, I kind of structure my Let's Plays like walkthrough wise for like first time players. So like I try to skip on spoilers if at all possible and kind of do things like a new like a good way a new player could do it but nothing too extravagant that would put them off uh, and I think doing that would kind of ruin some of the appeal for the Elbed primers and it does kind of spoil some stuff not a lot but some stuff ah! 
So, I don't know if that uh, monster knocked us down. I don't think it did, though. I think it was just bad timing on our part, standing there. At least, if it did knock us down, how? What the hell did it hit to knock us down? Right, nothing. It didn't hit us, hit anything. Looks like it ran next to a statue, maybe. But yeah, that's a Sahajin or Sahagin. Sahajin? Maybe. Anyways, it's a uh, battle time, and we get this epic pose for like no reason. All right, sorry about that. So, what we want to do here is attack one of these guys. Just kill him. Good job, we've done it. Uh, and now, we want to press triangle for 60 turns. Now you're probably like, Kronos, what? Yes, so, this is a way to get one of the overdrive modes uh, for that the characters to get. Uh, it's called Loner. It's different for every character, but for Titus, he needs to spend 60 turns alone in combat, uh, and then he'll learn it. Uh, if you have party members, you can learn this mode with when they're like dead or KO, like KO'd or petrified. Um, that being said, it's really not that useful for anyone besides like Titus and maybe one other character. So I'm probably only going to learn it for Titus and that other character. But we'll worry about that at when that time comes around. I'm not even sure if I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it for Titus because, well, there's a boss encounter in a little bit that we're going to need it for. At least be helped for it anyways. So yeah, I will be back when we learn Loner. Hey, there we go. All right. Doesn't take too long, especially if you use turbo mode. Uh, now. You're probably asking yourself, Cronus, why'd you leave two of these guys alive? Well, once we kill another one of these, the, the story is going to progress. So here we go. Ugly little buggers, aren't they, though? I like the way they look in Final Fantasy IV, but that's probably mostly nostalgia and fanboyism, probably. Maybe? I don't know. They look more threatening in that form. Now this guy's horrifying, like, oh god, good god, that's like nightmare fuel. See, this is where you strike the epic pose you struck last time, Titus. Those three didn't really deserve it. This guy, this guy deserves it. But we really don't have to worry too much about it. So this guy... Pretty much like the last boss we fought, he's only going to do percentage damage to your health. He does 50%, so it's higher than the last boss. But we really only need to survive three turns. And by survive three turns, I mean don't attack ourselves for three turns, and then we'll be fine. Because the only way we could die here is if we kill ourselves. And I don't even know if that would give us a game over. I actually don't know if that would give us a game over. I'd be kind of surprised if it did. Kind of mean. It'd be kind of funny. I mean, you get what you deserve, right? If you're gonna attack yourself in the middle of the boss encounter, that's that's your own fault. Yeah, don't stop and look, dog. Just keep swimming. Yeah, exactly. I would like climb out of there as fast as I could. Actually, to be fair, if I fell into this place, I probably would have just instantly went to the corner as fast as I could and. Uh, nor the Sahajans because they don't really do that much damage anyways. I guess we'll never go back there. I had made it out Wink. of the frying pan Wink. and into the freezer. Is that I a proper say? Die in this place. That's a proper thought, really. All right, I've turned my phone off now. Good God. Second episode of being distracted left and right. What the heck, game? I know it's not the game's fault. It's more of the people that keep calling me. Like, no one ever talks to me until I start recording. That's creepy. 
Yeah, is out of the frying pan into the freezer even like a thing people say? I'm imagining it's not. That'd be a weird saying. When would that when would that ever apply to any conversation? Cold. Yeah, I mean you just got out of the water, I'd imagine you'd be freezing. Need fire. What's this? That looks like a campfire. It's the remains of one. With flint and tinder, you could start another fire here. I mean, there's not that much wood there. So, there is this. Some withered flowers have been left here. They have, been, they have soaked up too much rainwater to surface tinder. Gives us a hint though, we need to find unwatered plants. Let's go down here, this is our save point. I don't think we need it, though we did need the hail, because I'm pretty sure we would have been a very low HP if we didn't. So, in here, right there, I thought I pressed the button at the right place, and apparently I was wrong. We get some flint. How convenient! That flint would just be, like, sitting around here. What do you mean, storytelling? Where is it? It's over there. We want to go over here, though, and get this... This treasure, there we go. It's an X-Potion, it's useful. And I think the way we want to go is up here. Yeah, because we came in from the south. Go down here. Got an ether, lovely. We will not need that for quite a while. And then we get some lovely tinder. Not the app, the withered bouquet. We don't really need to be up here, but there is a chest up here, so let's grab that. Thank you for the high potion. I did use two potions during the fight with the Sahajins to get the loner mode. We're not going to equip that right now. We'll uh, be equipping that later when we need to. Ooh, and there's the thunder. I am having a thunderstorm right now, so I really shouldn't be recording. But I ain't got much other time to do this right now, so we're doing it. Okay, that was Thunder in-game. Good timing on that, though. Get a good Predator vibe there. Relatively nice place aside for it being in ruins. I need food. Yeah, but you scared away that bird earlier, dog. If you didn't do that, we could have grabbed it, and made food out of it. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. Ah, uh, Orn. You came to say oh, that. Always showing up at the right time to say the right things. It's been 10 years. I thought you'd be crying. Who, me? Yeah, you seem to be a crybaby. You cried. Yeah, see, the ghost kid's right. I've never fallen asleep sitting up like that. I've fallen asleep in like a chair, but not like in the like a cannonball position there. Seems like that would hurt. Uh, hey, wait, wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Uh, uh, just hold on, I'll get more wood. From where? Uh, maybe the dresser we took the, the flint from, but we really should have got that before we came in here. Like, before you start a fire, have your firewood ready. Uh, survival 101, pretty much, when it comes to fire making. Also, this is, you know, another boss time. This one we actually have to, like, kind of do stuff. We don't want him to keep attacking us. Do not use your overdrive just yet. We could, but don't. There's no reason to, and we'll need it again in the future. Just keep attacking, use a potion if need be. We really don't got much to do right now aside from attacking. Uh, that will change in the relatively near future. 
Uh, after you cause enough damage, we'll get a really nice little cutscene here. You can feel free to shoot it. All right now, bondage girl can just like step in front of it. That looks very uncomfortable. Not so much like the chest piece, but the, the lower piece definitely looks just bad. From a male perspective anyways. All right, so this is question mark lady. Cool. She uses grenades. Certain items like grenades have special effects when used. These items can only be used during battle by selecting the special ability, use. So we come here, use. But I notice she also has steel. Now for your Titus here, we want him to attack himself. We want him to die pretty much. Yeah, so steel here does what you think it does, it steals. Now, stealing is a little bit different in this game. Um, you pretty much have, I think it's like a guaranteed chance to succeed at stealing when you first steal. And when you actually successfully steal, your chances of stealing the item again will diminish by like 50%. And it just keeps lowering until you have a, a pretty much horribly low steal chance and then you can just never succeed again. You still have like a slight chance of stealing when you still like, you know, get like 1%. I think that's the lowest it can go. But still, doesn't always quite happen when you get to 1%. So, Kronos, why'd you kill Titus? Well, he was bugging me. But also because I want Question Mark Lady to get her overdrive gauge filled up. The best way to do that is have her be the only party person in the party. Why? Well, I want to overkill this boss because this boss will drop ability spheres and they're kind of rare early on. Probably have to use another potion after this. Now, this might take a little bit of time, so I'm pretty much just gonna cut to when we are at the overdrive mark. All right, so that thunder is getting really strong. I should probably get through this as quick as possible. Let's revive Titus, and hopefully the monster attacks the question mark lady again. Dope. Now, over here, we go to you, old mix, and then we come down to grenades, and we wanna select this twice. And this will cause her to use the ability Flash Flood. Now, Flash Flood is dope, and it's gonna kill this boss instantly. We need to do over 400 damage to it as, as the final hit to do an overkill to it. And with Flash Flood, you're just gonna one-shot it. When you overkill something, you get extra AP as well as a rare item drop, which is two extra ability spheres for this guy. Normally you get one to two, but when you overkill it, you get two to four ability spares, which is a lot better. Thankfully we got four. Booty, but also 15, so cool your jets. You really can't see it in her eyes there, but she does have unique eyes. That was close. Go. Ah, you guys are mean. No, no, no. Tetis, not Drac. It's a totally different guy. Now, if you can't tell, this is the Albed language. If we had the Albed partners, we'd be understanding what they were saying right now. The gist of it, though, they think I might be a feed. And she just like one inch punched me in the gut. Which is very mean. Also impressive, seeing I'm pretty sure she was like just pressed up against us when she did that. I love that joke. <laughs> I, I, every time I see that joke, I get a smile up on my face. So when it comes to overkilling, I'm not gonna be aiming to overkill a lot of things. If I can, I will. If 
I can't. I'm not going to worry too much about it. If you're a first time player, you should probably take that mentality too. While it will help you in the long run to overkill as many things as you can, equipment wise, ability wise, fear wise, you will be fine. As long as you pretty much fight the encounters you come across in this game without running away too much, you will totally be fine until the end game. Post game stuff, that's a different story. Uh, but even if you overkill everything in the game, post game stuff is still going to require a bit of work. Right, whatever. Exactly. Do we hood kebeg? Why does everyone wear overalls in this game? I said I don't understand. Fed! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You. you understand me? Why didn't you say anything earlier? You guys, why are you All hitting right, me? I'll work. Maybe. I'll just drown you in the water. Anyways, over here is the first Albed Primer. If I can actually step on it. There we go. This translate Y to A. This also gives you the first achievement in the game that I got doing my little test recording. So we can go through a lengthy spare grid tutorial by talking to this lovely lady here. We talk to this guy. He'll say something and give you potions. We'll come back to that a little bit later, but that's gonna be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head to my video section, check out some of the content and see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching, y'all. Have a great day.